Cat Sim TV. Hey everybody, Cat Sim TV, and with exponential curves so prominent in coverage of the current crisis, we thought we would take a closer look at what an exponential curve is and why it is so important. In this first installment, we're going to cover the basics, but please do subscribe for part two and other content coming out regularly. Just as multiplication is adding a number a certain number of times, so exponentiation is multiplying a number a certain number of times. We call the number being multiplied the base, and the number of times we are multiplying the exponent. We often say to the power of or raised to to describe this operation, and we will use both terms throughout this video. Now if we plot successive exponents with a base of 2, we see that the value doubles each time. Now these are just discrete points. If we draw a curve connecting them, we get an exponential curve. At each point along the curve, we are somewhere specific between the next doubling period. You can compute fractional exponents this way. For example, 2 raised to 1 half is the square root of 2. We can even look at 2 raised to pi, which turns out to be this number, whatever that is. The curve starts somewhat shallow, but it starts to grow dramatically and gets bigger, faster, and faster. Let's do a little exercise. Suppose you're driving down the road at 1 mile per hour and double your speed every minute. You will be going quite slow for the first few minutes, but it starts to get extremely fast at some point, and after 15 minutes you will be going 32,768 miles per hour. That's going to be a pretty bad speeding ticket. So it goes with exponential curves in infectious diseases. It seems small at first, but then it doubles faster and faster, infecting more and more people. But you can also turn an exponential curve around. In this case, the number is cut in half every period, getting smaller and smaller. One place we hear this regularly is in echoes and the reverberation in rooms like this. In the next installment, we will delve more deeply into the mathematics of this very important function and also show what it means to flatten the curve. Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsynth.com. And please subscribe to CatSynth TV.